Hi, I'm Savita. Welcome to my studio. In my previous video, I showed you how to draft a body and sleeves pattern on paper. In this video, I'll show you how to lay the fabric, how to place the pattern on the fabric and how to cut the fabric. So let's start. Laying the fabric is as important as cutting the fabric or sewing the garment. So take your time and iron all the creases on the fabric. Before laying the fabric, let's see what tools are needed to cut the fabric. You need your measuring tape, marking chalk, push pins, tracing wheel and your fabric scissors. I'm using a cotton fabric. For beginners, I suggest you use a cotton fabric as it's easy to handle. In any fabric, there is a finished edge on both sides which is called a selvage which runs throughout the length of the fabric. The threads running parallel to selvage is called straight grain. As much as possible, your length of your dress should be in straight grain unless the design demands otherwise. This is the width of the fabric. Two selvages on in my two hands. Now fold it in half. So I'm folding selvage to selvage, one selvage on the other. Now the pretty side of the fabric is inside and the wrong side of the fabric is outside because we want all the markings on the wrong side. Now fold the fabric lengthwise. That is you're doing four layers. That is two layers for the front and two layers for the back part. I've got two layers here, selvages. I'm placing another two because I need for front as well as back. Now I've got four layers of selvage here and the fold is towards me. So this is the paper pattern we had cut in the uh, previous video. Now this straight line, place it on the folded side of the fabric, exactly on the fold. Now leave extra fabric here that is for folding at the hemline. So leave one inch and place the pattern. Now. Take your push pins and pin the pattern in place so that it does not move when you cut the fabric. So actually we can use the fabric efficiently so that we don't waste the fabric. But in this video we are not going to discuss about it. In this video we will only concentrate on how to cut the fabric as per the pattern. In my upcoming videos I will show you how to efficiently use the fabric so that we don't waste the fabric. Right, so I've pinned the paper pattern on my fabric, the straight line on the fold. Now, this is where you'll be stitching. This is the seam line. Now, after the stitch, you need some fabric which is called seam allowance. Okay, so we follow standard in seam allowance. Side of the body, you'll be giving one inch extra from your pattern. Arm holes, you'll be giving one centimeter extra. On the shoulder line, you'll be giving one centimeter extra, and at the neck part, you'll be giving quarter inch seam allowance, and the lower part, you'll be giving one inch extra for folding. So let's mark that. At the bottom hemline, we'll be giving one inch extra from the pattern. In the
so let it go in the same shape as your front armhole and also I can see uh, as you see uh, here the tracing wheel mark for your front neck we will be giving quarter inch seam allowance I showed you how to draft a sleeve pattern on paper. Now I'll show you how to cut it on fabric. Now take the leftover fabric, place uh, two layers of the fabric, salvage towards me. Now take the sleeve pattern, place it such that there is fabric around the sleeve pattern. Now we need to give, this is your exact sleeve pattern. Now we need to give little extra on the fabric so that after the stitch you need have some fabric okay so we follow standard for the seam allowance now in the sides you give one inch on either sides at the bottom you give one inch extra on the fabric and at this curve you will be giving one centimeter so let's mark first let me pin it Now the center line of the sleeve should be parallel to the selvage. I am marking the seam allowance, at the bottom I am giving 1 inch. In the side again 1 inch in the same shape as per your sleeve pattern. Now only at this curve we will be giving 1 centimeter. Cut the sleeves, um, you should have a mirror image of the sleeve, the deeper cut in the front, higher cut in the back and the wrong sides of the sleeve inside. So one would be your left sleeve and one would be your right sleeve. We are done with the cutting of the fabric, so next we will be seeing, uh, seeing how to stitch the garment and finish the garment. Thank you for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel to know about the upcoming videos. In the next video, I'll show how to put these pieces together, sew the garment and finish the garment. Thank you.